Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everybody and welcome to the class. Are you all ready to learn more Japanese today? Well, we have been doing a lot of things. We have learned time expressions, time in our last class. Well, this time also we will do some time expressions, something new, also about verbs and lot of new vocabulary, some new expressions as well. But before actually starting on all this, I would like to go over your assignments that I had given you last time and see whether you have done it properly or not. Again, kanji characters, there are pictures given over here and you are to write kanji characters for these pictures. So, well the first one is, what do you think it is? Goju N. Ni, as in you can count the fingers and then it is ni. Hachi, number, hachi. Ki, you can see a lot of trees over here in the picture. Ki, kawa, as in river, kawa. Hito. Hito, Yama, Yama and the last one is He. If you remember, we did He in Kayobi. Okay, so this was Kanji for you. Well, the second one is Write the readings for the kanji characters given. Well, I will just read it out once so you get the pronunciation properly. The first one is Goju Ichi. Goju Ichi. Ju Ichi Ji. Ju En. Hapun. Jew Nihon Nijuku Hyaku Nihyaku Nihonjin I hope you got it right, all of you. So now you have match group A with group B and make meaningful sentences. Column A has one part of the sentence and column B has the other part. So you have to match the sentences and the sentences should be meaningful. They should have a meaning, they should be complete. So please try to do that. We have been doing this exercise in our previous lessons as well and I am sure by now you are used to it. So well let us see what the first one is. Gakko wa hachiji kara niji made desu. So you have this practice of kara and made. From a certain time till a certain time. The next one is Watashi no otousan wa bengoshi desu. Watashi no, connection between the two, watashi no otosan and we are talking about otosan so wa which is a topic marker. Then we have sensei wa ima jimushitsu desu ka? Now for you at the moment it may sound a little strange 
that sensei wa, sensei is jimushitsu, which is the office, but no, that is not the meaning. Sensei wa ima, at the moment, sensei is, is in the jimushitsu question. So please, this seems a little odd initially, but later on, when we do it with a proper verb, then you will feel more comfortable. The next one is kaigi wa ju ichiji kara desu. This I am sure is easy. Ashita wa yasumi desu. Yasumi you have done is a holiday. Ashita is a time expression meaning tomorrow. Then kono kasa wa ikura desu ka? And that is what we have been practicing. Ikura means how much? Kono means this. And name of the object is specified, which is kasa. So, this kasa, this umbrella, wa, how much is this umbrella for how much? So, well, the next one is shosetsu wa anata no desu ka? Shosetsu is a novel, anata no desu ka? Question again. Well, the next one is nihyakuen no kutsu shita. O kudasai. You did o kudasai earlier in one of the previous lessons. O kudasai means please give it to me or I am going to buy it. So, well, I hope you made the sentences correctly. Now, we are going to do additional hiragana. I did all the hiragana syllables with you. The additional uh, readings of hiragana with you. Now, some of them are left, so we will do those. The short sound ma or the syllable or the letter m with ya, u and yo. Okay? So, this is mya, mu and Mio. I told you how it is done, how it is made. So, we do not need to do that. The R letter or sound R as Rya, Ryu, Ryo. Then we have letter G or the sound G, Gya, Gyu, Gyo. Then we have letter J or sound J, Jia, Ju, Jo. Then letter B and sound B as Bia, Biu, Bio. And the last one for you is the letter P and sound P as pia, piu and pio. So, this is your additional hiragana which you require for words later on. Well, now you are comfortable with numbers, you have done numbers from 1 till 10, you can tell time. So, now you can also tell someone or ask someone their phone number or tell your phone number. How would you do that? Well, you need numbers from 1 till 10 that you already know because of time. You have done time from 1 till 12. So, ichi, ni, san, yon, not shi, go, roku, nana, hachi, q and that is all that is required and of course, 0 which is re or 0 could also be used. So, now if you want to tell your number, watashi no, no, denwa, bango wa, denwa bango is telephone number or ketai, 
携帯 is your mobile 携帯番号は電話番号は二三五。no this dash over here is no 二三五 no 一三七八九零です。OK。or 私の携帯は Q。携帯は Q 八七五二一零零二一です。So very very simple way you have to say each number and not thousand two hundred or thousand two or five hundred and twenty one. No, all numbers are to be said separately. So please, watashi no denwa bango wa ni san go no. If there is a dash for the country code or for the area code, ni san go no ichi san nana hachi. Q zero, ichi des. Is that all right? So you could tell your number very easily to your friends now. Well, now today we are going to do something new. We will talk about verbs now. Lot of things we can do. Lot of expressions. We can we can say a lot of things if we use verbs. So well, we are going to do verbs today. Now listen to this radio conversation, and just see how much you understand. And whatever is new, we will try to explain here in class. すみません、田中さんは今どこですか？田中さんは今事務室です。事務室は何階ですか？三階です。食堂も三階ですね。いいえ、食堂は二階です。あのすみませんですが、エレベーターはどこですか？エレベーターはあそこです。Well, there are a few words here which are new to you. Some new vocabulary is also there, so we'll do it right now. I'll read it out again. The dialogue is between Kim San and Mira San, two people. So I'll read the dialogue once to you and then explain. すみません。田中さんは今どこですか。田中さんは今事務室です。事務室は何階ですか。三階です。食堂も三階ですか。いいえ、食堂は二階です。あのすみませんですが、エレベーターはどこですか。エレベーターはあそこです。So how much did you understand now? I am sure quite a bit by now. This is our ninth lesson, and you've been practicing at home, so I'm sure a lot of things are understood, except for this new word here, which is doko, and that I will explain right away. This is in in the script for you. This is the explanation. Well, you can read it and understand. Now. We have done demonstratives earlier. If you remember, we did kore, kore, sore, are, and dore. One set of demonstratives. Then we did kono, sono, ano, and dono. Now this one is only for for things as we already know. This is for things as well as for people. Now today we will do a new set of demonstratives, which is koko, soko, asoko, and doko. Now what does it mean? This is for location, for place. Place marker is doko. Showing location is koko, soko, asoko, and doko. So how will you tell a person is over there? So koko means 
here where the person is where the speaker is over here at this point at this place. Soko is where the listener is or you could say it is far away from where the speaker is then asoko is again far away from the listener as well as the speaker and then we have doko which is a question word doko which is a question word which means where. So, we have koko which is over here soko which is far away from the speaker or close to the listener which place is far away from the speaker and close to the listener and asoko is something which is some place which is far away from the speaker as well as from the listener both. As you can see on your screens over here everything is given clearly. Now, you have a san and b san over here and an object right here. So, what are they doing? Let us see. A is pointing at this object here which looks like a ball and he says koko because it is close to a san. Ball wa koko des. The ball is over here at this point. Well, what does B san have to say? He points at the ball from where he is and he says soko. So, the ball is far away from B san thus he says soko. Ball wa soko des. The ball is over there. So, you can see from the picture that the ball is close to A san and the ball is far away from B san thus it is Soko for B san and Koko for A san. Now, you have these two people over here A san and B san again and let us see what they are doing. Well, B is pointing at something and so is A. So, well what could it be? Well, it is Koko that means over here as they are very close by close to each other. So, koko or this place or this point could be close to both of them then it would be koko over here and B is also pointing with his finger somewhere. So, what could that be? Asoko because it is far away from A and B as well. So, it is far away somewhere not here or here thus it is asoko and what is that? Well, again he is pointing at something which is far away from both of them. So, again it becomes asoko. Now, A san has a question he says kuruma wa doko desu ka? Kuruma wa doko desu ka? And B has to say kuruma wa asoko desu over there because the kuruma is far away from a and B both. Now, A san has another question. He says, Tanaka san wa doko desu ka? Now, over here it was an object. Now, he is asking about a person. So, well, B says, Tanaka san wa asoko desu. So, now you can see that koko because it is for place it can be used for object as well as for person. And then also another thing over here you will notice that y is a little colored. Now, why y is colored over here is because one question has already been asked by A san kuruma wa doko desu ka. So, the answer is kuruma wa asoko desu and again he asks another question and says tanaka san wa doko desu ka. And B san again says Tanaka san wa asoko desu. So, as we have done earlier, you can replace this wa with mo, meaning also. Kuruma wa asoko desu, the car is over there, and Tanaka san is also over there. So, please, you can see wa 
you can replace with mo. If something has already been said which is similar to the answer given here. So, now I am sure your asoko, koko and soko is clear and of course, he can also point at this and say koko and a san from here can say soko. So, I am sure this is clear now the difference between koko, soko and asoko. Well, now listen to this dialogue and there are a lot of new things over here in this dialogue, which you may not be able to understand, but just listen to it and see the words you can catch actually. Ashita doko e ikimasu ka? Kyoto e ikimasu. Nande kyoto e ikimasu ka? Shinkansen de ikimasu. Nanji no densha desu ka? Asa hachiji no densha desu. Ashita doko e ikimasu ka? So now you have done this location word doko, which means where. Now there are two new things over here, a and ikimasu. Now, a is a new particle for you, a we will do right away and ikimasu is the verb. You have done lot of particles, you have done particle ka, you have done particle wa, particle ne, particle mo. Now a new particle for you, particle a and the verb ikimasu. This means to go, to move in a certain direction. Now, particle A is used with motion verbs, basically is used with motion verbs and shows movement in a certain direction, movement towards destination or towards your goal, particle A. It is to be used with motion verbs. Now, three motion verbs which we are going to do here is ikimas kimas and kaeri mas now ikimas means to go ikimas means go kimas means come and kaeri mas means to return now very interestingly kaeri mas in Japanese, you only return to your house, your hometown or your country, to your country, your hometown and your house only. All other places you always go, please remember that. And when you are at a certain place, when you are here and you are talking about this place, then it means you come here. For example, if you are in class. Then you say watashi wa mainichi, watashi wa rokuji ni kimasu because I am in class, I am talking about class and if you are outside class, well you could say watashi wa rokuji ni class A ikimasu. Please remember that, we will be doing it again and again, so you do not have to worry that much. Well, ashita doko e ikimasu ka? Doko is where? Ashita is tomorrow, e is as I told you it is a particle to be used with ikimas, which shows motion in a certain direction, movement in a certain direction. And ka of course is the question word, so now you can see ashita doko e ikimasu ka, where are you going tomorrow? Kyoto e ikimasu, Kyoto of course is one of the cities in Japan, the old capital of Japan is Kyoto, Kyoto e ikimasu, I am going to Kyoto. Now another new particle over here which is de, particle de, particle de for you. Now de shows something de ikimasu, meaning mode of transport, how you will go from this place to that place how movement is going to take place, how you will transport yourself from this place to that place. So, well, it could be bus de iki 
mas. I will go by bus. Ashta bus de iki mas. Ashta bus de iki mas. So I will go by bus tomorrow. By by bus I go. I will go by bus tomorrow. So how will you go? Nan de ikimasu ka? Nan is a question. So, you can ask how will you go? Nan de kyoto e ikimasu ka? Shinkansen de ikimasu. Shinkansen is the fast train, the bullet trains, very famous trains of Japan. So, shinkansen de ikimasu. Nanji no densha desu ka? Asa hachiji no densha desu. Asa is in the morning, morning hachiji no densha desu. So, this is the conversation. This is of course in the script and the kanji characters are given. There are a number of characters which you have not done, but these characters have been put here specially for you to get used to the kanji script, the pictograms. Then of course, this is the explanation. Well, we will practice now. Verbs over here, ikimasu, ikimasen. Now, I want to tell you something about verbs. In Japanese, verbs are divided into two categories, basically two categories, the u verbs and the ru verbs. The u verbs and the ru verbs. Now, there is a base form of the verb, the stem of the verb, the dictionary form of the verb. And if the verb ends in u or in ru, it is in its dictionary form. Please remember that. So, with this division, they have classified verbs into group 1, group 2 and group 3. Of course, how will you differentiate that it is in group 1 or in group 2 or in group 3? It is simple. In group 2, all verbs ending in I R U and E R U in their base form, in their dictionary form, then they are in group 2. So, all verbs ending in I R U, E R U are in group 2 in their dictionary form. There are two verbs which are irregular verbs, they do not follow a pattern which is kuru and suru. Of course, all the details we will do later. This is just a small brief introduction to verbs. We have just two verbs in group 3, kuru and suru. Suru means to do and kuru means to come as we did with ikimasu, kimasu and kairimasu. Now, all other verbs which are not ending in IRU and ERU in their dictionary form are in group in this group in group 1. There are a few exceptions of course. We have a few verbs which do end in IRU and ERU in group 1, but that is for a different reason. All verbs ending in IRU, ERU are in group 2 and all other verbs are in group 1 and only 2 in group 3. So, well, this was very, very brief. There are a lot of things about verbs, but well, for the time being, we will only do this much. Now, particle A, as I just told you, indicates direction, place plus particle A indicates direction towards destination. Thus, it is used with motion verbs, ikimasu, kimasu and kairimasu and means to go, come and return respectively. So, well, this we have already done. I have already covered this with you. Well, we will practice now. Ashita doko e ikimasu ka? Ashita doko e ikimasu ka? So, you remember you did time expressions in your previous lesson. Asatte suiyobi
日曜日。日曜日。So you could replace 明日 with any of these: 明日明後日て、水曜日、日曜日、今日。Any of these: どこへ行きますかどこ means where? A is, of course, movement in that direction, and ikimas means to go. And of course, you could answer with, with, watashi wa, wa, and the name of the place, a ikimas, a ikimas. So it's very simple. It could be Delhi. It could be Kyoto. It could be club or kurab as is used in Japanese. It could be、um, shokudo, it could be kras, anything. A ikimasu. So, place A ikimasu. That is what we are going to practice over here. You can see. Ashita doko e ikimasu ka? Deri e ikimasu. So, ashita could be replaced with nichiyobi asatte, raigetsu. Raigetsu means Next month, and place could be Delhi, place could be replaced with Uchi, Depato, Tomodachi no Uchi, or again any place, Delhi or any other place you want to name. Now, some more time expressions for you. Raigetsu was just mentioned, Raigetsu. Raigetsu means next month. Kongetsu, this month. Saraigetsu, next to next month. So, please you can practice. Raigetsu doko e ikimasu ka? Raigetsu watashi wa uchi e. 帰ります。今月どこへ行きますか。今月友達の家へ行きます。再来月どこへ行きますか。再来月国へ帰ります。国へ、country。So I will return to my country. Now. You have this new particle de, which we just practiced. De. Particle de, as I said, is used for travel. So, watashi wa, watashi wa. Kuruma de Kaisha e iki mas. Watashi wa kuruma de Kaisha e iki mas. This can again be replaced with Tanaka san. Tomodachi, Okasan, or any 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 other、uh, noun that you have done, and Kurma could be easily replaced with Bus, Densha, Takushi, Jitensha. Any of these you can replace and. You can make so many sentences. You can ask your friends. You can tell how you are going to a certain place by just using this particle de. So, with the help of kurma, I, I go to my office. That's how it is done. Watashi wa kurma de kaisha e ikimas. Tanaka san wa bus de kaisha e ikimas. Tomodachi wa densha de gakko e. Ikimas. Of course, this also could be replaced with any place that you want to go to. Now, you can see over here that is exactly what is given. Nan de kaisha e ikimasu ka? Takushi de ikimasu. 
I go by taxi. So, basic meaning of they is by with the help of. Kuruma de ikimasu. Bus de ikimasu. Densha de ikimasu. And of course, there is one word over here, arukimas. Arukimas means to walk. Jitensha de ikimas. Shinkansen de ikimas. So this is this you have to keep in mind that please you don't say I go to a certain place by my feet. It is always I walk. Please remember that. It is not I use my feet to go somewhere, I always walk. Watashi wa aruki mas. Now, there is a small audio for you, so please listen and see how much you understand. Itsu deri e ikimasu ka? Raishu no jugo nichi desu. Nan nichi ni kaerimasu ka? Juhachi nichi ni kaerimasu. Now, in this audio, you had something new over here, which was date. Please learn dates. Date is a little different. Suitachi. Sui. Sui. Tachi. Suitachi is first of the month, Futsuka, Futsuka, second of the month, Mikka, third of the month and so on. We go till 10. So, please repeat after me once and then we will do it over here. Suitachi, Futsuka, Mikka, Yokka, Itsuka, Yokka, Itsuka, Muika, Nanoka, Yoka. So, you will notice this Yokka and Yoka are quite similar, but there is a slight difference. Yoka, Yoka is 4, which is a small number, so the sound is also small, and Yoka. A larger number which is 8, sound is also long and elongated. So, suitachi, futsuka, mikka, yoka, itsuka, moika, nanoka, yoka, kokonoka, toka, toka again is a long sound. Then after toka, you have ju, which you know is for 10. Jiu, ichi, nichi. Now, nichi is the counter for day, date. Jiu, ichi, nichi means 11th. Jiu, ni, nichi means 12th. So, please practice this. We will do it right away. Suitachi, futsuka. Mika, Yoka, Itska, Muika, Nanoka, Yoka. Kokonoka, Toka, Juichi Nichi, Juyoka, Hatsuka. So, well, over here. 
this is a small sound, this is a long sound, this is an elongated long sound and again you have 14th, 14th has ju yoka and not ju yon nichi and the 20th is hatsuka and not niju nichi. These are exceptions. So, please remember these. Please remember these and practice as many times as you can, so that it settles inside very nicely. Now, we have kanjis, we have been doing kanjis in our previous lessons. We did um, last time get yobi. I think kaiobi and uh, what else we did I think suyobi. So, today we will do mokuyobi, kinyobi, doyobi and nichiyobi. So, let us begin doing our kanjis over here and how the kanjis have come into being. Now, mokuyobi the basic meaning is tree or wood. Now, you would say how, how has this form or these lines come into being. Well, kanjis as you know are pictograms. So, when you look at tree, what is the figure that comes to your mind? What do you think? Well, a key looks like this, a tree looks like this is not it? Like this, like this, like this, some branches over here. So, well the basic idea is there is a form and this is the trunk of the tree and that is how it has come into being. So, now you see 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now, if you, if you do this, then you will see it looks does look like a tree. So, once again for you 1, 2, 3 and 4, ki. This is ki, the pronunciation is ki. Ki means a tree. It is a four stroke character. Once again, 1, 2, 3 and 4 meaning ki. When you look at this character, then automatically you will understand that it has something to do with tree, something to do with wood, something to do with forest, all related. Now, you will see this is a four stroke character. Now, we have another character over here which means okane, some lines are drawn and it means money and metal. Now, how has this come into being? Well, this is very interesting because in olden times is when we did not have banks, then all our money was kept in the houses, in the houses and they would dug, dig somewhere and put the money inside over here and use it whenever it was required. So, now what happens is when you, when you have lot of people in the house and everybody is hiding it, how do you, how do you sort of camouflage the whole thing? So, for that in the house you would put lot of mud over it and maybe plant a tree or something or put, put a pot or something over there which would sort of hide your money and you would also know that the money is kept over here. So, well now this is for the house, this is how it is made actually. Okay. So, now you will see these are the two nuggets or the gold coins that were used earlier and on this you plant something to just camouflage the whole thing. So, this is how the character is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. This is the ground. So, you put your money hidden over here. That is how this character is used for money. Let us see how many strokes are there in this character. Kanjis are very interesting actually, some of them, not all of them as they get complicated, well things become a little difficult, but this one is okane, it is an 
8 stroke character 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. And the associated meaning is kin, kin is for gold, otherwise the meaning is metal or money, because money was also metal earlier. So, when we did not have the notes, so well it is for money and metal both. Now, we have another character over here, which means soil or suchi. This is the ground from here. a flower is something comes out of the ground. So, that is how you have this character and this for ground which is suchi. That is how this character has come into being and it is used for Saturday which is doyobi. Okay, so, well this is a this is a three stroke character 1, 2 and 3 meaning soil or ground. So, well a three stroke character. Now, there is more kanji for you today, there is lot of kanji. These kanjis are very simple, they are not difficult. These are the two kanji characters for the two verbs that we have done. Verb iku. Iku, Iku, Iku means to go. Is it all right? A simple, simple character 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and the hiragana ku over here meaning to go. You can see over here, this also means line, it is a 6 stroke character. Now, the other one is kairu, kairu and kairu is a 10 stroke character. So, you can see kairu means to return, I will draw it for you, I will make it for you kairu. Kairu. So, one Gomen aside. Kairu. So, that is a 10 stroke character which means to return and please remember you always return to your country, to your hometown or to your house. So, now we have some new words for you with these kanji characters. Kikori and the meanings are given over here. Kanemochi, Doboku, Dono, Ikisaki, Gyoretsu, Kikoku, Kitaku, Higairi. So, these are some of the new words for you, new vocabulary for you. Using these kanji characters, using these pictograms that we have just studied, try to memorize them, try to read them, try to learn them, write them. Now, we have some words, senshu, konshu. Raishu, Saraishu, 
asa ban yasumi kimas arukimas And now it is time for you to do your assignments, to take down your assignments and do them at home. Practice telling time over here, asking time and telling time like this. You can ask ima nanji desu ka and you can answer or your partner can answer or you can also say ima whatever time is there. So, ima this time. Please try this at home, this is an assignment for you. Then you have again places over here, practice with your partner by asking and telling where you are going and if you can how you are going. So, there are other places also listed over here for you. Now, these pictures we have done here in class, these are listed over here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. the days of the week are given over here. So, you have to just match the kanji characters with the pictures. Then write the readings for the following characters like your previous exercise in the previous lesson and of course, over here you have to match the readings with the kanji characters. Okay, there is another one for you. Look at the picture and tell what mode of transport you will use to go somewhere. So, as we did this particle they here in class, you can use that particle, ask your partner or you could try on your own as well. We have done quite a few things, lot of new things we have learnt, lot of uh, new vocabulary we have done and uh, some new particles, some new verbs we have learnt. So, please with that, I think I should leave you. There is a lot of homework for you today. I think I will finish over here for today and maybe we will do something new in our next lesson. So, minasan, mata ashita aimashou. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you.